Hello everybody, I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. So welcome back to another video and before moving ahead in this video, I want to share with you all something that I have created a playlist for all those students who are preparing for NEET and need a little guidance. So I'll be sharing everything related to NEET examination on my upcoming videos like how I used to take notes, what was my preparation strategy and effective ways to study etc etc. So stay tuned for that and for now let's begin with this video. So the first thing is stick to NCRT. Now NCRT is truly enough for bio. Back then when I was preparing, I used to solve lots of questions, PYQs, modules and every time I noticed the questions around 95% at least comes directly from NCRT and rest 5% questions I would say they are sort of twisted questions which is also from NCRT. Studying NCRT is enough but it does not mean reading it once is enough. It means you have to develop a strong conceptual understanding now what I'm saying seems very simple right so let's understand this with a question you can see this question due to increasing airborne allergens and pollutants many people in urban areas are suffering from respiratory disorder causing wheezing due to dash clearly this question is from health and disease chapter of class 12th and this question seems sort of easy but you can see the confusing options so here comes our concern that when there is a foreign antibody there would be secretions that is histamine from the shells in the tract causes inflammation so the answer is inflammation of bronchi and bronchioles so to solve these types of questions conceptual understanding is important without conceptual understanding just reading the NCRT is totally waste so I would suggest to read NCRT thoroughly line by line and understand the hidden meaning of it NCRT reading is about exploring more than just written and getting familiar with terms to be able to answer related questions. So clearing doubts are very important for those students who usually focus on self-study. You have to grasp each topic so well that you can answer them in examination hall. Now you can seek help from your coaching institutes or even you can take help of internet. But if you're taking help of your teacher, you have to wait for them to solve your question and it could be a little bit time consuming and internet will never guide correctly and you'll end up with over information which is not at all needed. So here here you need someone who can help you right away. So there's an app called Philo which will help you to clear all your concepts with live tutors. So Philo is an amazing application which connects you to the live tutor under 60 seconds and these tutors are highly qualified which will guide you and help you to clear all your concepts right away and you can ask them unlimited questions and they will live teach you. So I think this app Philo will definitely help you in your preparation. The link of this app is given below in the description make sure to check it out make proper notes of every chapter without notes you'll never understand the important areas also biology syllabus is very vast and all we know in neat questions are directly asked from any line of ncrt so it is important to make short notes the very first thing that you have to keep in your mind is making notes is not waste of time it actually helps you to save your time and making notes is actually a learning process so do not make your notes simultaneously while you're studying studying the chapter for the first time or second time, read the topic at least four to five times, understand the meaning of it and then write only those points in your notes which you find are forgetful. Making notes is actually a learning process. You learn a lot of new things when you write it all down. The concepts that you will learn while making notes will stay with you. Now I know each and every line of NCRT for bio is important but you can't always start from the scratch. If you have already read a chapter and you have to revise it again and you don't have notes that will be definitely a time consuming process one thing i want to mention here is don't stick on just one method keep changing your methods according to the demand of situation for example in breathing and respiration of gases chapter numerical information is very important so it must be there in your short note and for biological classification and morphology of flowering plants examples diagram 
diagrams carries major of the thing in chapter so diagrams are also important make sure to include them as well in your notes you can even use different pens and highlighters just make sure that you don't make a rainbow in your book you can use yellow color to mark the importance and read them when you have plenty of time before the exams you can use blue pens or highlighters to mark the important topics which you may need to revise at least one month before the exam for better retainment and you can use red to mark very volatile topic and should be read daily in the last one month of exam you will have hardly five red points per chapter so total of 100 points in the whole book and reading them daily should not be a trouble and remember don't maintain a separate notebook for extra point ncrt has provided enough white space around the text in each page you can write down everything there So you need to read bio every day as they have higher weightage in chapters. Different chapter have different time frame like if you see chapters like morphology and anatomy of flowering plants that will take 3 to 4 days per chapter whereas chapters like living world, chemical control and coordination and ecosystem will take 2 days per chapter. So in an average you have to study one chapter in 2 days maximum. So time management plays a very important role and we have chemistry and physics also so make a timetable and try to cover all the chapters in that timetable and make sure that you are completing all lessons at least two months before exam so that you can revise it several times according to your capacity every timetable won't suit everyone so try to make your own timetable according to your schedule of other activities also it will be meaningless if you read three to four chapters in a day and you understand nothing from that this will be a waste of time so decide according to your capacity how much you can understand after reading. Now I would say a big no for offline coaching because everything is available online in affordable price. So why to waste time by joining offline classes? In online classes the thing is you have to be serious enough and don't waste your time. Now the benefit you'll get by joining classes or taking right guidance is suppose you are studying a topic you understood the theory and went on to solve the related questions once you are done with that you'll repeat the same thing again and again but here if you take a proper guidance from an educator or teacher they will directly help you with the concept and you can easily solve related questions so here you can save your time and sometimes this happens that we misunderstood the concepts while we are doing self study and then we repeat the same mistake so to avoid all these one should definitely join classes and take right guidance and if you take right guidance from a qualified teacher they will not only help you with the studies they will also guide you with the rest of other things also joining classes will also provide you the notes dpps tests doubt solving classes which will boost up your preparation and help you to save your time as well nowadays there are so many options available for online coaching in affordable price but still if you're someone who don't want to spend money on online classes there are free videos available on youtube so that's it for today. I hope this video will be helpful for you and I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos related to NEAT preparation and uh, I'll see you all on my next video. Till then bye bye and stay safe.